All right, all right. Welcome back. What up? Bless up. Shout out to all the new subscribers every day. I appreciate y'all. Before I get into this, I want to say thank you for watching my videos. You know what I'm saying? I love sneakers. I just want to share my love for sneakers and my thoughts, my personal opinion on a couple of these shoes that come out. You know, I'm not one for making long speeches or long videos or having all the crazy graphics or, you know, animations, things like that. I just want to give my personal quick little thoughts on the shoes that I could get my hands on. So I got my hands on multiple pair of these, as you could tell if you follow me and you watch my shorts on YouTube. So I want to review my pair, size 12, and tell you what I think about it. All right, let's get it. First off, y'all know what it's hitting for. Y'all see the shiny box. Y'all know what it is. This is... This is the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. You know, the breadway colorway. My size, size 12. Now let's get into it. Y'all see it's a... They, they didn't do the uh, plain looking box. You know, they did the shiny box, you know, tossed it up because it's a shiny shoe. It's an all patent leather shoe. So uh, let's check them out, man. And I hope y'all got yourself a pair too because it was it was easy to get in store. Online, another story. But in store, it was it was it was kind of easy if you did your due diligence. You know what I'm saying? So let's put that to the side. Uh man, look at that. That just looked like money, man. I'll tell you, man. When I saw this on that sneakers app, when they do that little live event, I said, yeah, that's going to be the shoe for me for Christmas. And then, you know, you got the red lace right here that it comes with. But for some reason, I think at the fact that they just snatched all of them off, all the shoes. I don't know why they did that, but, you know, pretty much... You know, got your patent leather here. It says uh, family on the inside. That's for one. All about family, if y'all know me. Love my fan. But let's get into this review. Now, to start things off, you see it. You see the jump, man. Let me just let you just take that in, you know? Just take that in and just... Just, you know, take that in, man. It's an all patent leather bread colorway for a Jordan 1. Now, in 2016, I believe the, the breads came out again. And I was at work. I missed them. I was at work. So I missed them. But I ended up getting a couple of the other Jordan 1s in 2016. But these I missed. So this time around, I said I'm not going to miss again. So I made sure... To have my ASS up and early at the store. Because I know Jimmy Jazz was doing first come first serve. I followed him on Instagram. And once I got the alert, I knew to wake up on time to be there. And that's what I did. And I secured my pair. My personal pair right here. So, let me give you a little story. That day was kind of crazy. At the mall, people were fighting. People were yelling. In store is always kind of crazy. That's why I see... Why online and EA on JD Sports is so important to keep so many people away from the stores because y'all just don't know how to act, man. Y'all just do not know how to act. And you know what? It just only be the people that's salty and mad that they can't get it. So they just want to ruin it for everybody else. But um, if the bottles wasn't so crazy online, then, you know, a lot of people will stay out the stores, tell you the truth. That's how I feel. But, um, no, that's just my thoughts. But uh, let's get back to the shoe. This is a bread colorway, Jordan 1. Now, what they did with this one, they made the shoe, of course, patent leather all around. And uh, I see some people that got, like, extra pairs. They even, like, managed to get the patent leather off and turn it back to leather just to make it a, a leather bread colorway, which is amazing. I don't know how they did that, but, you know, it's just amazing. Uh, but with this one, you got now... They brought it back with the uh, little emblem here, Jumpman. This is pretty heavy. It's pretty heavy, but it's a nice 
additive to the shoe. I like it. It just adds more um flair to it. Now um it's not much to say. You know, you got your white midsole here, you got the all red bottom, Nike logo with the uh the best looking, you know, traction of any kind of shoe in the market. You know, this is just iconic. You got the stars here. You got the Nike logo, of course. You got the stitching, exposed stitching right here on the outside going around, as you can see. And then when you come to the toe box up here in the front, you got the uh, black patent leather here, exposed stitching right around there. Then in the toe, in the inner toe box area, you have the red with the, you know, the holes for your toes to breathe, won't be too funky. And then uh, run that up to the lace area here. Well, you got the Nike OG logo. Love that. Nice pattern on the tongue here. Nice thick pattern on the tongue. You know. I was never a fan of the Jordan 1s because I knew they wasn't comfortable. Not like the 3s. Got the laces on the inside. Then you have the stitching right here. Family in red, which was a nice touch. Appreciate that. Then you got uh, the inside. It's pretty much the same. Uh, men's size 12. My size. Then you got the Nike logo right there, where for some reason, on all the other shoes, that rubs out, right? But on this shoe, it doesn't rub out, because I can show you some of my other pair, and that glue stamp right there, with Nike Air, it just doesn't rub out. But um, it's all good, man. I can appreciate that. Uh, What else do I need to say, you know? This is the Air Jordan Bread colorway, man. And if you was lucky enough to get it, man, congrats to you on however you secured your pair. You know, because the resale right now on this is just ridiculous. So I wouldn't advise you unless you got somebody that's going to really take care of you as far as, like, the price. You know, somebody you've been dealing with. But um, it doesn't hurt to go out to these stores like I did. You know, talk to the managers of some of the stores you know, let them get familiar with you, shop there. And uh, when it comes to days like this for these releases, these drops, you know, you could be able to secure your peer, you know, and uh, not have any issue. But, you know, like, 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 the only thing I don't like about the shoe is that it is a patent leather shoe. Why? Because on my 11s, that's patent leather right here. It always creases. And then after a while, those creases turn to cracks. And those cracks, they start to peel off. So eventually, that's what's going to happen. I could already see a little bit of creasing, like right here. And this is a dead stock pair of shoes. So this came from the factory like that with the little bit of creasing right there, if you can see it. Those little crease waves right there. So this is going to crease. But luckily, like I said, I got one pair to rock, one pair to keep on ice. Because I think the value on this is going to go up. It might go up even to surpass the original 2016 bread colorway. That's how I feel. It's going to go up that high. I see this being like a $700 shoe in the future. Because it is an old patent leather. And it come with, you know, the nice little keychain here. It says family on the inside. You know, special box. You know, it's a dope shoe. This is a dope shoe. It's a dope shoe. So give it, give this shoe its respect that it deserves as being a dope shoe, and um, man, if you could go on and get this shoe, man, go on and get it, man. But uh, once again, like, subscribe, comment. This is the patent of the Jordan One. Let me know if you got it, if you're feeling it, if you're not feeling it. All right, one.